So that AWS stuff was pretty crazy today. Lots of stuff down. My job could not even function properly today because a lot of the services were down for the things that we needed. And just to put this in perspective, between Amazon, Google, and Microsoft, a lot of the internet is already owned, right? A lot of the internet space is owned. And we just saw that when one of those goes down, a lot of services and a lot of things that impact our daily lives are impacted. And this is where Web 3 comes in. So in case you don't know, Web 1 was really static pages. Web 2 is the internet as we know it today. And then Web 3 is blockchain technology. And it is decentralized for the most part, depending on how you interpret that word decentralized. And basically, it's not really owned by a single entity like the Amazon, the Google in the world. And so when we think about revolutionizing the internet, I immediately thought about blockchain. Like when Web 2 fails us, Web 3 can't go down in a similar way. It would take a massive, massive security breach and a lot of capital to break down some of these blockchains to take them over and actually make them unsafe or unusable or to take them down entirely. A lot of people don't see it as worth it. So I think that we need to continue to think about the technology part of blockchain beyond just little tokens that we're trading and making some money on or losing some money on, right? The technology is there. We can't forget that and that it's coming, right? That we are, we saw a practical application today for something in our world that was broken. There's already a solution out there and we're just waiting for the technology to continue to advance. So just a little tidbit on my thoughts. Have a great day. See y'all. Deuce. Oh, and especially if you're on TikTok, check out Technically Web 3 and what he's building over there. He's got some really, really cool stuff about this exact thing that we're talking about.